Hi, I am Sapna here again. Did you guys listen to Miss Olivia read Chika Chika Boom Boom? I love that story. I love that book. So we are going to create our own Chika Chika Boom Boom tree. I'm going to show you how to draw and cut and make your own Chika Chika Boom Boom tree. Are you ready? For this, we are going to use need a brown paper. I didn't have the brown paper, so I'm using a brown bag, lunch bag. Then any color paper for you to put the tree together. I'm using blue. And then I'm going to use this bright green for the leaves of the tree. You will also need a glue stick, a pair of scissors, and a Sharpie or a marker or a crayon or a pencil to draw are you guys ready i'm so excited all right so first thing we are going to use our brown bag and then try to make a trunk of the tr coconut tree so we just have to make two straight lines for the trunk and then i'm going to connect this so we can cut on the practice cutting on the lines. Are you ready? Take your scissors. Do you see two holes? This one is smaller. This one is bigger. Where does your thumb go? Yep, I'm the small one. And where do the fingers go? In this big one. So fingers, thumb, fingers. I don't want you to twist your hand and go like this. I want you to go like this, fingers here, thumb in the small hole, and this is how we are going to cut. The paper goes in between those and then we go open, shut, open, shut, open, shut. And then let's cut on the line. Do you see the black line? See, I'm going to cut and move forward. Cut, open, move forward. This is how I'm going to keep cutting. I'm you moving my hand forward, see? And then I'm going to turn the paper and then cut this way. And then I'm going to keep going on the line. See, I'm not twisting my hand. I am moving the paper to cut on the line. Here you go. Here are the trunk is ready. So now we have to get to the leaves. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this paper this way so I can cut my leaves faster. So if you just fold it to see it, it turned into four sections. The paper turned into four sections. So in each section, I'm going to draw one leaf. Now it's kind of oval. I'm going to go a pointy just a little bit to make it look like a leaf. Two. Here comes three. And four. I need one more. Five. So I'm going to draw like this. Now... We have to practice cutting on the lines. So we are going to hold the scissors the right way. The thumb goes here and the finger go here. And open, close. Open, close. Now the paper goes in between the scissor and we have to keep our eyes on the scissors. And we are going to practice cutting on the lines. See how I'm turning the paper? I'm not twisting my arm to move. We have to move our paper, not ourselves, to cut the leaves. So we are, see how I'm cutting on the lines? And boom, boom. Turn the paper, turn the paper and two leaves. How many leaves do we need in all? Do you remember how many leaves did I draw? I drew 
five leaves and I have to cut five leaves. See, this is how we cut. Now, if you don't have these scissors, what are you going to do? What we can do is we can use our fingers to tear the paper. Let's see if I can tear one leaf for you to show how to do it. See, you go like this. Hold your pinchers and then rip on the line. Slowly, be patient. No hurries. We can just rip it on line. See, if it's going this way, we can rip this part and then we can go close to the line that we drew and then we can rip it. This is also good practice for your pinchers to make your uh, muscles in the fingers strong so you can rip it also. See? There you go. Here we got there. See? We can use our pinchers to tear the paper. Now, what we are going to do is, we are going to fold this leaf into half like this. See? We are going to bend it in the middle and put a line. See? Can you see the line? Now, what you can do is, you can snap, 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 snap. We are practicing our snapping to make it look like a, a coconut tree leaf. So we are going to do all in all the leaves. We are going to fold it into half. Then we are going to open it. And then we are not going to the middle of the line. We are just going to snap it. It shouldn't go. It should not rip your leaf up. So just keep it on the side of the leaves. So I am just folding you to give you an idea so you don't cut to the middle of the leaf. So this is the line. See, I'm going to draw one so you can see. You can draw the line so you don't snap it till the middle. So see, And this goes again. And I'm going to do put two leaves together and I'm going to snap it on the sides of the leaves, both sides. Now we are ready to glue. Let's get our glue stick and put some glue on the brown paper. Uh-oh. Here. So we put this in the middle. And then we are going to put glue on the leaves. One leaf. Two leaves. Here comes the third one. And the fourth one. And the fifth one. Okay. Now, look at this tree. Now, if you want, you can put some coconut. I'm going to draw... Oh, maybe I can get a brown Sharpie. There you go. And make some oval and circles for the coconut. How many coconuts do you want to draw? Should we draw three or five? Should we do five? Okay. So one, two, three, four, 
Here comes five. Your chika chika boom boom tree is ready, but we can write something else. What do you think you can write on the trunk of the tree? All the letters that are in your name. Can you do, do that? I'm going to write A, B, and what letter did I write here? You're right, C. A, B, C, but you can write all the letters that are in your name. That's a good practice to write your letters in your name and have fun. Can you, when you make this and practice this, can you post me a picture that you worked on so I can see how you guys are working? Thank you. I will be waiting for the pictures. Thank you. I'm going to see you next time. Enjoy and have lots of fun today. Bye.